I've got the highest rose here. You have? <laughs> <laughs> and probably the smallest penis. <laughs> if you specialise in seeking out the world's weird and wonderfuls, female impersonators have to be on our hit list. <laughs> That's the one I like. So I grabbed my hat and Mac and went to London's top gay bar, where I was assured some of the leading female impersonators drank and performed. I'm Ross Harvey, and tonight I'm doing something seriously different. I'm drinking with drag queens. I'm absolutely astonished at the glamour and size of the ladies I'm sitting with. How are you feeling? Well, apart from calling us a size, I'm quite offended. <laughs> right? Thank you, Ross. No, well, I'm fabulous. How are you? Pretty wonderful, I've really. I've lost for words. Now, <laughs> I think you'd rather introduce yourself than me have to make a hash of it. So let's start with Mandela. So I'm Raven Mandela. I'm a dancer, a professional dancer. Do you do the dancing in the high heels? Yes, of course. What do you think song. we do? Pop one flip flop. <laughs> <laughs> well, hi, I'm Meth. I'm a lip syncer. I use my body to express other people's voices if we're going to get technical about it. My name is Lavoie, and I am probably one of the most sort of old school acts in that sense. And I very much impersonate um, famous divas live as opposed to a lip syncer. My name is Danny G, and um, I'm a star. Also, like Raven and. I'm a professional dancer, I went to ballet school. I can get my legs in places you would dream of. I've got the highest voice here. You have? <laughs> <laughs> and probably the smallest penis. <laughs> <laughs> the most effeminate thing I've found about you is that you're bitchy. <laughs> <laughs> it's funny because you're all of us. Because you're more effeminate than all of us. the biggest bitch here, <laughs> So, what drove you to being a drag queen? Is it sexual, just purely? Or is it much more? Yeah. It's nothing sexual, it's purely performance based. I think that's where a lot of people get confused with drag compared to a lot of other things like transvestite or transgender. It's nothing about a man in a dress, it's much yeah. more than that. We are fierce, we are fearless. Yes. yes, we are bitchy, yes, we are fabulous, yes, we are glamorous, but there is there is a heart, there is a meaning, yes. and there is a power behind what you, we do. You're a human being. If yeah. they give themselves the time, everyone will fucking love a drag queen, I tell you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. What do drag queens like drinking? When I'm out, I like to drink a nice cold pint of lager with a nice girthy straw. Well, I like quite a lot of drinks, actually. I like. I don't mind a pint, love. Yeah, I actually quite enjoy a pint of gin, so... Oh. No. Well, you can see that I'm very keen to protect my lipstick, so I'm using a straw. Oh. And I hope the rest oh, of you are knows. as well. She knows all the tricks, doesn't she? I suggest that you have a drink that I have chosen. As I have never met you, I've pictured you as exotic. So we've chosen a pisco sour that consists of egg. Oh God! And pisco, and that what is, is pisco? a pisco. Oh, what is that? <laughs> it comes from grapes in Peru, but precisely what they do to the grapes is a mystery not entirely known to them. They probably they they them. They them. They I think it, And cheers! 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 Oh fuck me! Fuck my ass! That's got tequila in it. It has a grainy, tech greasy in it. So no, you that's your lipstick. Speak for yourself, love. If I was going to try and be like one of you, what sort of kit would you suggest I wear? <laughs> and, and what would you call me? It's definitely a burlesque act. Yes. yes. <laughs> that goes without yes. saying. You have the advantage on me because I have no idea what I look like. Here am I in the springtime of my senility, dressed up to prove it. <laughs> Thank you.
the thing about these people is that they're outgoing, cheerful, amusing, entertaining people. And I've enjoyed my time with them. Oh. But I wish they hadn't done this to me. Oh, <laughs> oh it's the start of something new. <laughs> what a whirlwind of an evening that was. But what they did to me was frankly f***ing outrageous. Mm -hmm.